Hello friend, in this video I am going to discuss about how to install tabular editor in Windows 10 operating system. So in Google search box write tabular editor and here you can get tabular editor.com and uh, this is about uh, tabular editor provides an intuitive hierarchical view of every object in your tabular model meter editor. So let's uh, click this link. Now here you can see tabular editor and this is all detail. Now you need to you can uh, go source code blog and for download you need to click this download button and uh, directly it's so uh, transfer to github site and tabular editor 2.11.5 it's available and scroll down you can use here tabular exe file directly this is j here the code so i'm going to click on this msi file and here the file size so uh, 3.1 mb click on save and here you can see the file is downloaded completed now here after you need to click this exe file now click on ok you can see welcome to tabular editor setup wizard and uh, here the installation will guide so let's click on next and here agree next and uh, this is for at this location uh, where tabular editor is going to install if you want then you can or change okay so I'm going to install here tabular editor and this is just for me so it's selected if you want then you can use for everyone now click on next and here create the desktop icon so it will create the icon at this place now here after click on next and click next to start installation now here you can see installing tabular editor tabular editor so it install installation completed successfully and uh, this all details so please so uh, use windows update to check any or uh, .NET framework related update now click on close and uh, here you can see tabular editor icon it's created now we need to click this icon to use or to open tabular editor now here you can see this is tabular editor 2.115 and uh, make that bigger the first thing if you need to go file here click on new model so you can uh, select here SQL Server 2019 19 plus and here Power BI PIM so let's uh, select uh, 2019 plus ok and uh, here after if you want to connect with uh, SQL Server uh, then uh, you need to go here on model here click on import to table import table so it's uh, asking you about import to table wizard and here you can see create our data source and add into the model now you need to click this on uh, next button and here you need to fill this all detail so you can connect with mysql oracle postgre whatever you like or dvc driver this option are available so here I'm going to connect with the uh, SQL server so you need to give the server name so you can give your PC or, or PC name or your IP address or if you don't know then write here local host and you can connect with the uh, Windows authentication or you can connect with SQL server so I'm going to use SQL server click give the username and give the password and after uh, writing this here you need to get this option database name so you should provide the suitable or uh, database name so Adam is the database now everything correct then you need to click on test connection so here test connection succeeded click on ok now ok and here you can see uh, it's uh, loading so this is the uh, table inside uh, Adam database so whatever if you click this place you can see the records on the table okay so this is all record on the table so whatever the table you need you can use here so let's uh, select actor option and here after you need to check this checkbox after clicking this box here you can see import button that's uh, enable now click on import button and here you can see this is all those things now here after you can perform any kind of uh, operation on the tables so here you can if you click this here you can see this all tables 
right click on it here you can create measure calculate hierarchy data columns and do the partition here make visual duplicate table you can do that delete actor and here this all those things after you can use a script here this is for create create file order you can do this all those things on the table so this is the way we can install tabular editor inside the windows 10 operating system so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you